Hi, I'm Tiffany Knutson with the AISD Communications Department, and I'm here with Director of Management Information Systems, Brenda Richmond, to talk about curbside registration. Hi, yes, my name is Brenda Richmond. I am the Director of Management Information Systems here at Austin Independent School District, and I'm so excited to talk about our new feature curbside registration for parents. Students new to AISD will be able to be curbside registered at campuses, all of our campuses around Austin. Um, we have specific days for that, August 3rd through the 6th, and we have times for each day, 9 to 11 a.m. and 1 to 3 p.m. each day. If a family cannot make it to one of the curbside locations during these days, we can also mail paper packets if the family will contact us at 512-414-9187. Families can also email us at registration at austinisd.org. Awesome. And can a new student also register online? Absolutely. If families have a computer at home, they can online register their new to AISD students just by visiting austinisd.org and looking for the registration link. So if I'm a returning student, do I still need to register? Yes, we do ask for returning students, families to go ahead and complete that online registration if at all possible. It allows the family to update and review contact information so that we always have the most accurate information for our students. Um, if families have trouble logging in, they can contact our parent support line at the same number, 512-414-9187. What materials should families bring? For our new to the AISD students, we do have required documentation that families do need to bring, such as the child's birth certificate. If the family has a social security card for the student, we do ask for that, it's not required. We do need the child's immunization records. We need withdrawal forms or maybe the last report card if the student was in another district prior to Austin. We do need parent guardian photo ID. If the family who's bringing the child to curbside register is a different family than the student currently resides, we'll need um, paperwork for that. So if you're a family that's doubled up with someone else, we'll still want you to come on in and just bring required paperwork. You can reach out to campuses early if you want to find out specifically what that form looks like and if you need to bring a utility bill or not. And why is it so important to register in advance instead of showing up on the first day of school? Great question. When um, families do take time to register their students in advance, that allows our district to make better plans to serve the students so that we can go ahead and help the student pick out their schedule, maybe their electives for high school or middle school. It also allows the campus to have the information to start contacting the family before school starts to let them know things such as maybe school supplies a student may need. So what safety protocols are we asking our families and staff to follow for curbside registration? Well, our campus staff are going to make sure that the transfer of documents and the interaction with families is as safe as we can possibly make it. Our staff will have on their mask and their gloves and they'll have cleaning supplies if we were to need to use those. And we ask that families also wear their mask and if families are feeling ill to please stay home and come on another date. Um, when the information is exchanged between our staff and our families, we'll use different types of techniques, such as placing the items in the trunk of a car or maybe the back of a van. Some campuses may use baskets to place the documents in to transfer in between the family and our staff. And other campuses may have a table outside and they may inform the parent to drive up to the table and pick up the documentation or to uh, place it back on that table when they are done completing the task. 